share three things. One is that this can generate portraits, one that conforms to Chinese aesthetics, portrait of a model. There are three in total. The second one is hyper. Eight steps raw picture, the fastest raw image model. The third one is this. GGUFF's model. It only needs half the video memory. Suitable for local deployment. And two, I'm just showing you. Just try it out. First, introduce the most important. This is just open source. Or portray half an arrow. Its disadvantage is that this model is very large. 20G. It is the same size as the original Flux 1. The advantage is that it can use these fast models to speed it up. The downside is that it is no longer the previous Lola style. It is a large model, according to Flux 1 to train. So you don't need to worry about downloading when using it online. The effect you produce is perfect. Mainly used to generate character portraits. A detailed introduction is included in my workflow. This model. Portraits. He's the first, right? Perfect. I'll show you here. If you don't. If this model generates, you will get this effect. It doesn't quite conform to Chinese aesthetics. This is more in line with stronger beauty. So this is a necessary model for generating character portraits. Then there is also a local workflow here. Download. Local deployment. Download models etc. Then the second one is this acceleration model. I also have this nudge. Download the model. There is also this GGUF model download. The main advantage of this is that it saves half of the video memory. It can be run on a computer with low configuration. Flexi model. Same as the original Flux 1 model. It is basic. Same no difference. The difference is very small. Interchangeable. There is also a local workflow download here. Why not? It is suitable for people in your local area to watch. I am using the online mirror and Duana Qua. People don't want to deploy. They just want to use it directly. Then you just click on my online mirror. Open to see the latest workflow. The platform has been updated to the latest version. If you don't see this workflow, you can see it in two days. This is a portrait. Generate a portrait. This is a, a shortcut. One that generates fast. Workflow. I just included this one below. This is actually on this end brain cloud platform. This has no advantage because it is hardware, no need. It has enough video memory, so this model is not needed. This model is only suitable for those video memory. For example, I only then have can't run gigabytes. the native version. So you need this. For platforms like Android Cloud, this hardware is already very powerful. So no need. This is just for you to try out the effect. Then this quick raw image is actually just adding one. If you don't want to use the quick image, just disable it. I have detailed introduction here. If you choose 16 steps, then you need to change the number of steps to 16. If you want faster, then you choose the side step. Same thing here. You need to change it to 8 steps. This is a one-to-one -one correspondence. This is a quick model. Hyper. We can generate. See the effect.
Tasebo Bialo. Now look at this effect. Of course, I use this on my use and this is not business. necessary. He doesn't need to save half of the video memory or anything. This is just to show you. Your local hardware. People with low configuration, you can use this model to generate. For example, you can use it if the size is below 8 gigabytes. It can still run. If you use this native version, it requires a you can't run. For example, this. I use this low quality G GUF, which only needs half the stroke to generate. The effect is like this. If I change it to, then I copy another. If you change it to the original version, go to Generate. Look at the difference between. Actually, it can be ignored. Copy it first. If you run it for the first time, you will load this model first. After loading, you can run it quickly. Now it is loading. It loads very quickly. Run this 8 step process again for the second time. You will be there soon. But I won't talk about this now. Let me first say this. For example, you now following. change to This original model is a large model. See if you use this native. He has high requirements for local hardware. Many of them just can't get it working, or it will be directly exposed and stuck. So if you use the GGA UF below, you can run it. The main advantage of his model is this. And the quality of the generator is almost the same. So, don't worry. You change to a model that only needs half the video memory to run. The difference will be huge. The difference can be ignored. No impact. But for the hardware of the end brain cloud, which is already very high, his model doesn't make sense. No need, no need. He only uses half of the video memory or something. This is generator. Let's copy it. Basically, you. I can't feel the difference between the two. He is a little different. For example, this mole on the face. This is a little clear. Basically the same. Nothing. If you look closely at a certain point, he will be a little different. But you can ignore it. Basically the same. So if the local video memory is small, you can use this model. The result of running is exactly the same as the original one. Remember, it is if your configuration is lower, you can use Q4 or Q2. Q will lower. This difference will be bigger because he compressed the version, but Q bar, his highest version is the same as the original.
It's the same comparison picture I just made. There is made. basically no difference. So this is suitable for hardware configuration with low video memory. This perfect solution to this demanding problem. But this is not necessary for broken brain cloud, just so you can research it. Just tested this. All right, step and 16 step. Now I'll run it again. Change this to random seed. This is suitable for card drawing. After you are satisfied with the card, you can switch to high definition to generate it. Its main function is like this. It doesn't mean that I only use these 8 steps to generate quality. Rather than the quality is much worse. I have tested this 8 step method about 2 seconds. Then the 16 step one is about 15 seconds. For example, this 8 step one is very suitable for drawing cars. Then he changes it every 7 seconds. Keep pumping until you are satisfied and then you Stop it and regenerate it into high definition. Its function. I think this is the best way to use it. For example, to generate this satisfactory picture. Then I'll open its history. Click on this picture. Fix its seat. For example, this picture is what I want now. Then I can make a high definition. Let me show you a comparison. For example, he has no fast steps. Definitely poor original effect. But I just need a fast. You don't need him. Works right, so it's good for card drawing. Now I want HD. You disabled him. The number of steps using this large model. Then change this tool. For example, 25 steps. A normal large model. Generate. Then generate high definition. If I use this big model to generate every time, then the time cost of drawing cards is very high. Not suitable. So this 8 step method is very practical. It is commonly used. But he doesn't support lore at the moment. Can barely use. What the effect? Understanding ability. Too big a gap. So it is not suitable. This basic effect. Because I am using this model. Model for this portrait. So it might be a little different. Because I changed the number of steps, I raised it to 40. If you think it's too far off, you can adjust the number of steps to make a draw cards randomly. Bring it closer. Basically, it won't stray far. So this is very suitable for drawing cards. After you are satisfied, generate this high definition. He doesn't have that noise or blurry, or something like that. Let him change it. He's basically perfect. If it's not like this, because I am not using the original model. I use this portrait model. If you want to have the same effect as this 8 step row picture, then you use this original large model.
Now I'm using the native version of Flux1. Several major models generate high quality images. I will use 8 steps to generate one later. Let's compare. Look at the difference. Now this is high quality. I will open this 8 step. Just change the number of steps away. OK loading completed. Now this is this 8 step effect. It basically corresponds to the original version. This is suitable for car drawing. For example, I let him randomly change the seed. In conclusion, This one doesn't look good. Change it. He is very fast at drawing cards. 2 seconds for a picture. You don't have to wait long. For example, I think this one is Then okay. I can disable step in now. Restore this to normal large model. No need to speed up. 25 steps to generate high quality. I'll put this here first. Wait for comparison. Once loaded, it will run quickly. No need to load. It has been loaded in the cloud. It is not loaded into your local cache. So this cloud computer model is still suitable. It is more convenient to run this large configure. It's perfect to draw cards like this. When you want high definition, you can convert it into high definition raw images. The effect is basically the same. What has style? Basically the same. The gap will not be too big. Of course, if you want to get closer, this is a choice. 16. Steps is closer. For example, this I chose one. 16 steps. Now speed up the model here. Now, it's 8 steps. The gap will be bigger. Now change the 16 steps of acceleration. Actually, there is a slight time difference between the two. It's not double. OK loading completed. This effect will be better. 16 steps. If you like his style, you can also use this directly. The difference between this and this is actually there is not much difference in quality. Okay, that's it for this episode. Let's all play.